Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to make some homestead fast food, basically. Um, love brown rice and love, you know, it, the flavor is so much better and it's healthier for you than white rice. But um, sometimes that 45 minutes just isn't in the schedule that it takes to cook it. So what I like to do is to cook it ahead of time, dehydrate it, and then have it on hand for when I need a quick meal. Um, any other time, if I'm, you know, planning ahead and I have plenty of time, then yeah, it's not a big deal. But while I'm going to go ahead and cook and dehydrate some brown rice, I'm going to go ahead and do some jasmine rice while I'm at it and dehydrate it and it's great for quick soups and meals and just all kinds of great stuff. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to make instant rice out of our regular store-bought rice. And I always have uh, buckets of organic brown rice on hand because we do eat a lot of rice. Um, just one of those things that we like. And it's also, um, brown rice is a part of Burr's homemade dog food too. So I'll get this bucket open and we'll go from there. Okay, I measured out three cups of the brown rice and two cups of the white rice. And you can definitely, whatever measurements you choose is you know, obviously up to you. I already have um, some white rice dehydrated and I was just going to make some quickly for Jonathan. So I figured I might as well make a little extra and just dehydrate it since I'm dehydrating. But anyway, so I'm going to add, um, since I've got three cups of brown rice, I'm going to add six cups of water to that. Okay, so and four cups of water to the two cups of white rice. Okay, my water is measured in both of them. And again, this is something I do. Um, it's just always worked well for me. Um, you can do it or not do it. Um, I add in just a touch of olive oil, literally just a, you know, a few drips. And it kind of helps it from being real sticky. And uh, then a little bit of salt. Um, I use the sea salt, but again, you can take that or leave that. It's how you prefer your rice. I like it that way and the oil does not keep it from dehydrating. You don't it doesn't have any fats or grease because it works into the rice but gets absorbed into the rice. But anyway, so um, we're gonna put these both, get bring them both to a boil. Again, this is how I cook my rice. Um, everybody has a, a different way, just showing you my way. Um, I bring these to a boil after I add the touch of oil and a little bit of salt and once they're at a boil cover them and turn it down to simmer okay um, or some people you can actually with the white rice I know you can just take it off and let it sit for 20 minutes and it'll be done um, with the brown rice I find if you leave it on simmer it works better okay so the white rice can is coming to a boil a little quicker than the brown rice is all because there's more in the pot obviously um, so we're going to go ahead and cover it and just remove it completely from the heat and we'll see how that does. And this is just starting to boil so we'll give it another few minutes. Maybe. Okay, the brown rice is at a boil now. So we'll go ahead and we'll just cover it and turn the stove down to simmer. Okay? And then we'll just give it 45 minutes. I'm going to set the timer for 45 minutes because I'll wander around and I'll forget about it if I don't. So. Okay. After 20 minutes, you'll see it's uh, nice and fluffy, not sticky. Very nice indeed. Okay. So we're going to spread that out onto our trays and let it cool down and then and I, and I use the non-stick liners in my Excalibur dehydrator um, because the rice when it dehydrates it's going to fall through the screens and land on the bottom so uh, we don't want that to happen okay so spread it out on the tray as, in as thin layer as possible and um, let it cool down and then once it cools down, then stick it in the dehydrator at 125. So because this finished first, I'll go ahead and I'll spread these out and get them going in the dehydrator 
and then I'll add the brown rice in when it gets done. All right, timer for the brown rice has gone off. Let's see what we have here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, fluffy brown rice. So let's see. Look at that. It is. It's nice and fluffy. And brown rice is so hearty and it's got that wonderful nutty flavor that, and I love white rice too, don't get me wrong, but there's just something about that brown rice. Okay, so that was 45 minutes, okay? Now, just like with the white rice, we're going to let it cool down, um, spread it on the sheets, and let it cool down, and then we'll stick it in the dehydrator. When we get there, I'll bring you along. Okay, so that's the brown rice when it's spread. Um, I've got the white rice in the dehydrator. And I'm setting the dehydrator to 125. Okay. My Excalibur dehydrator has nine trays, which is really nice. So we'll set it to 125. And the white rice is going to dry faster than the brown rice, just like with everything, because it's a lighter, thinner grain, whereas the, the brown rice is, is kind of thicker grain. So um, we'll get the brown rice in when it cools down. One of the things I warn you about is um, when the rice is drying, you know, because the way it's spread, it kind of a little bit, it's fluffy, but it's still going to kind of stick just a little bit. So as it's drying, go ahead and crumble it up. And the drier it gets, of course, the lighter it's going to get because all the moisture is going to be out of it. So don't be surprised if you start hearing little tinks in the inside of your dehydrator because um, dehydrated rice is kind of moving around in there and um, like with mine sometimes it'll blow down onto the bottom of the dehydrator which isn't a big deal because that's another thing I like about the Excalibur and no I'm not selling the Excalibur or anything um, just making some points here another thing that I like about the Excalibur is um, the motor is in the back the fan is in the back so if stuff falls down here it's not a big deal I can get it out of there just keep it clean and you can just scoop your rice up out of there and it's not a big deal. Um, so we've got our rice on the way. Brown rice is cooling and almost ready to go on. Okay, we're an hour into the dehydrating and you'll see that the jasmine rice is already getting crisp around the edges so just keep an eye on it. Um, there's parts of it that are still not dry, um, and the brown rice, same thing. Just starting on the brown rice, more so in the back. So I'm going to turn the tray, and, and you'll see right now I can actually pick up clumps of it. If it dries like that, it's not a problem, because if you'll see, here where it's already drying in the back it'll just break apart but this will be a nice quick meal for you in the future and you don't need to do this I'm just trying to show you the texture of it right now you don't have to turn it over or anything like I said it's just an hour into it so I'm just turning the trays probably going to take about three hours total maybe a little bit longer I'm gonna guess about three hours so after the first two hours you can always turn up the temperature a little bit if you want you just want to make sure you don't hard case it you know dry it on the outside and then moisture stay on the inside so let it go for at least two hours before you turn that temp up Okay, so both trays of the jasmine rice are finished, and you'll see they're like <laughs> solidly dry, crumbly. So even though it was kind of clumped together, you see it just comes right apart, so that's not even a problem. And you see how it covered the whole tray, and now it just 
barely covers anything. Um, two of the trays of the brown rice are not completed. And we're about six hours in now. And what I did is, um, there's a lot more humidity in the air today than I had thought there was. But So this is what the brown rice will look like. And then you literally just grab how much ever you want and throw it into your soups or your stews or whatever you're making that day. And you now have brown rice in minutes rather than 45 minutes. Okay. So, oh, after two hours, I did turn it up to um, 135 degrees. And as you see, it dried inside and out. So, perfect.